So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us discuss about time. What is a trapezium? Trapezium it is a quadrilateral with non-parallel sides. Line segment AB it is not parallel to line segment BC. Also, line segment AD that is not parallel to line segment BC. What is a kite? Kite, it is a quadrilateral with two pairs of congruent consecutive sides, but the opposite sides are not congruent. The opposite sides, that is line segment AB and then line segment PC, those opposite sides are not congruent. Also, line segment AD, that is not congruent to line segment BC. How about the two pairs of congruent consecutive sides? Line segment DA, it is congruent to line segment BA. Another pair of congruent consecutive sides, that is line segment BC, it is congruent to line segment BC. So let us discuss the properties of kite. First, or letter A, diagonals are perpendicular. So line segment BD, it is perpendicular to line segment AC. So those perpendicular, angle BEC, that is equal to 90 degree, angle CED, 90 degrees, angle BEA, that is 90 degree, angle DEA, also 90 degree. Those diagonals here, yung nasa gitna, that is equal to 90 degrees. Letter B. One pair of opposite angles are congruent. So that is angle B. It is congruent to angle D. So it means if the value of angle B is 110 degrees, it means the measure of the angle D that is also equal to 110 degrees. So let us solve problem number one. Let us find the measure of all angles that is angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. So, how to solve this kite? So, the measurement of this quadrilateral that is equal to 360 degrees, it means the measure of the angle A plus the measure of the angle B plus the measure of the angle C plus the measure of angle D that is equal to 360 degrees. So, let us substitute the measure of the angle A that is equal to 3x minus 40 degrees plus the measurement of the angle B that is 2x degrees, plus the measure of the angle C that is x degree, the measure of the angle D that is 2x degree, and then copy 360 degree. So, para madali natin isolve, lahat naman may degree yan. So, it means if we divide both sides by the degree, 1 degree, so it means mawawala na lahat ng degree. So, copy 3x, copy 2x, copy x, copy 2x, and then bring down 360. So, negative 40 going to the right side, that becomes positive 40. If we add 3 plus 2, that is 5, plus 1, 6 plus 2, that is equal to 8x. And then let us add 360 plus 40, that is equal to 400. If we divide both sides with positive 8, it means 400 divided by 8, so x is equal to 50. So the value of x is equal to 50. So let us find now the measure of all angles. If the measure of the angle A that is equal to 3x minus 40 degrees, let us replace the value of x by 50. So that becomes 3 times 50 minus 40. 3 times 50, that is equal to 150, minus 40, that is 110 degrees. If the measure of the angle A is 110 degrees, let us solve now the measure of the angle B. So that is 2x degrees. So 2x degrees, that becomes 2 times 50 degrees. So 2 times 50, that is equal to 100 degrees. So the measure of the angle B, that is equal to 100 degrees. 
How about the measure of the angle C? The measure of the angle C equals x degree. So it means let us replace the value of x by 50. So that becomes 50 degrees. How about the measure of the angle D? So the measure of the angle D, it is congruent to the measure of the angle B. So it means the measurement of the angle B that is 100 degrees. So it means the measure of the angle D, it is also equal to 100 degrees. If we try to add all this one, 110, 100, 150, that is equal to 360 degrees. How about example number 2? In type ABCD, line segment AB equals x plus 2. Line segment CD equals 2x plus 1. The perimeter of the kite is 48 cm. Find x and the length of each side. So, the perimeter, so ibig sabihin na itong mga gilid na gilid na to, that is the perimeter of the kite. So, let us add line segment AB plus the line segment BC plus line segment CD plus line segment AB. So, perimeter equals this segment. So, let us replace the value. So, the perimeter of the kite, that is equal to 48. Line segment AB equals x plus 2. Line segment BC, that is also equal to x plus 2. Because line segment AB, it is congruent to line segment BC. How about line segment CD? Equals 2x plus 1. And also, line segment AD equals 2x plus 1. Because line segment AD, it is congruent to line segment CD. So, bring down 48, let us add x plus x, 2 plus 2, 4x, plus 2, that is 6x. And then 2 plus 2, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1, that is equal to 6. So, let us solve for the value of x. Bring down 48, move 6 on the left side, that becomes negative 6. Bring down 6x. 48 minus 6, that is equal to 42, equals 6x. If we divide both sides with positive 6, the answer is equal to 7. So the value of x is equal to 7. If the value of x is equal to 7, let us solve for the line segment AB equals x plus 2. Let us replace 7 plus 2 that is equal to 9. So line segment AB equals 9. How about the line segment BC? So the line segment BC, that is also equal to 9 because the value of AB is 9. Also, the value of the line segment BC, that is equal to 9 because line segment AB, it is congruent to line segment BC. So let us solve now the line segment CD equals 2x plus 1. Let us replace the value of x by 7. So that is 2 times 7 plus 1. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1. The answer is equal to 15. So it means the line segment CD, that is equal to 15. How about the line segment AD? So line segment AD, that is congruent to line segment CD. So it means the value of the line segment CD and the line segment AD, that is equal to 15. How about example number 3? Gray is a kite. Find the following. If line segment GR, then line segment GY equals also 10. Because line segment GR, it is congruent to line segment GY. How about letter B? The measure of the angle GOY. So this measurement, so that is angle that is equal to 90 degree. So it means the measure of the angle GOY that is equal to 90 degrees. How about letter C? The measure of the angle ROA. So this measurement, bumubuo siya ng L. So it means that is also equal to 90 degrees. How about letter D? Line segment YG. It is congruent. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung congruent, ang sagot natin, hindi number, letters. So, line segment YG, it is congruent to line segment RG. How about letter E? Line segment AR, so line segment AR, it is congruent to line segment AY. How about letter F? The measure of the angle or the angle GYA, 
So, ang sagot natin, hindi numbers, letters, kasi congruent. So, G, Y, A. So, R yun. So, it means that is angle G, R, A. Enjoy learning! Mathematics, I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!